Hey, what's going on guys? If you've seen my videos before, you saw that I had a 10 or 13 week old dog that was training how to do blood trails. Well, now he's three years old. We have had three successful trails so far and we're getting certified. We're gonna take a test to get certified on Saturday, which is in a couple days. So we have a practice blood trail right here. That's a couple hundred yards long. I have it getting tracked. Zabo, relax. And he's already getting on this blood. It starts up here. But I did, uh, I marked the blood trail the best I could with toilet paper. So you guys can see how far on or see how far off he is on the blood trail. Come on, boy, go to work. So first blood. It's coming up. It's actually back here. He walked in the a little weird but he just got right on the blood first blood was right here and we're already on the blood trail as you can see i tried to mark it off with toilet paper so you can see if he's on the blood trail or not um like i said i don't know how far the blood trail actually is i use three ounces of blood we're working with good boy that was a good 90 degree turn we're working with three ounces of blood he has so, as you can see, this trail's going this way. He's going to sniff around. When I was laying, the good boy, when I was laying the blood trail, we kicked a couple, or I kicked a couple dough up in here. So he might just be sitting around. He might have some fresh scent of some beer. During the certification, we're allowed to go 75 yards off the blood trail without a penalty, from what I understand. Come on, boy, go to work. Find him. I'm gonna get out of there. I'm gonna apologize now for the shaky camera. Come on, find him. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'm gonna sniff around a little bit. I'm surprised he doesn't have his nose up. It was pretty windy earlier. Come on, boy. Come on. Ooh, I got stuck. Come on. Are you stuck? Come on, come on. Let's go to work. So the hardest thing about hunting with a dog is, is trusting the dog. Try not to lead him and let him do the work. If he doesn't have the blood scent, he'll go back to where he had it. So we kind of just walked around that little area a little bit. Now he's coming back towards this blood. He's about 10 steps off of it, walking right into it. Come on, go to work. Go to work, boy. Come on, go to work. Find him. So I was actually down here. There might be blood down there. I was going to make the blood trail through this, and then it got too thick for me. So I have to go down here because that's what you're supposed to do. Let the dog. Good boy, because I didn't want to walk through that. Uh, laying the blood trail, I had rubber boots on. I used gloves. Try to keep my scent away from everything as possible. Good boy, come on, go to work. Come on, boy, work. That was a good little hairpin turn here, which is what I liked. Really wanted to see that. Come on, boy, go to work. Did a lot of zigzagging. Tried to make it. Blood trail as realistic as possible. Come on, boy. In this terrain, anyway. Come on. Come on. Didn't use a whole lot of blood. Like I said, it's only three ounces. I apologize if the camera is shaky. Come on, boy. Go to work. Just ventured off. And we're coming back. Come on, boy. I'm allowed to drop the leash momentarily during the certification. See, this is what he'll do. If he loses the scent, he'll come back and backtrack. See if he can pump it back up. Come on, boy. He's getting a little lost here. So this blood trap was laid around 1.30. I was done laying at about 2. It's now like 6.30 at night. 
So this was sat for a few hours, which is ideal and realistic. If a hunter shoots a deer, of course they're gonna track it. We're gonna call their buddies to come track it. And then when they can't find it, we get the, we get the call. Come on, boy. So he lost blood. He lost scent, so he goes back to where he had sent last. He's gonna pick it up. As you see, we're going through here. He's been in this area for a little bit. Like I said, I started down there and I came up this way. So there might be blood in there, but not a whole lot, just a couple drips. So hopefully he does get back onto this thicker blood trail. There's only a couple drips every couple feet. Let me see if I can even find some blood for you. Come on, boy. Go to work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's work. So go to work is my blood command. And find a bone is we're looking for antlers. And he's pretty good at deciphering the two come on boy and we're up on a deer trail he probably smells some fresh deer we're walking away from the blood trail at this point but that's okay because he's feeling it out he's sitting trying to pick something up come on boy I have a feeling we're going to loop right back to where we were. Come on. So this is the area that I walked through where I said I was. So I started the blood trail, but it got really thick through there and I couldn't make it through. I could have, but I wouldn't have been happy. So I tried to make it walkable, knowing that I was going to try and record it for you guys. See, now we're kind of stuck. Come here, Sabo. Come here. Let's see if I can get him out of here. So, what I am allowed to do... Come here, boy. Come here. Come here, Sabo. So, if I know that we're off the blood trail, I'm allowed to call him back. I'm allowed to call him back twice. Come here, Sabo. Come on to where I know that we had blood blast. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put him on where I saw that we had blood. Come here, Sabo. This way. Come on, come on. Follow me. Good boy. Come on. Ah, come on. The leash we're using is a leash from, ooh, oh, Jesus. Oh, yes. There goes my Oakleys. There's a leash from Gundog Supply. It's equivalent to, like an extension cord is how I want to word it. Works great. Much better than using a rope or uh, your average leash. Come on, boy, go to work. So, we're back here in this area. He's going to try and set up if he can't. I'm going to put him on blood, like I said, where I saw it last, which would be that log, because that's where I saw it. Even though I know there's blood here, I didn't see it here. Come on, go to work. Come on, go to work. Come on. Come on. Find him. Find him. All right, after a decent size circle and bring him back. He's right back on this blood. Um, the blood that we're using was from a deer that was shot earlier this season. It's May. This deer was shot in October. It's been in, the blood's been in a jar in the freezer. I don't know if that blood makes a difference. If the scent isn't as strong. I couldn't tell you. Come on, go to work. So here's a road that we crossed. I entered there. Come on. So normally when we get to a road and we don't have blood right away. Come on. 
Come on, Sabo. We'll work the road. Oh boy. He's trying to pick up this blood scent because he knows we hit this open area. Good boy. There he goes. He's gonna walk right on there. There's a 90 degree turn up here. Let's see how well he does with this. Come on, boy. Gonna work. Slowing down a little bit. I'll run out of blood. Come on. Go to work. Uh, there's no hide or anything at the end of this. It's a jar and a bottle that I was using. So if he doesn't sit when we get there, I'm not going to be terribly mad at him. Just because it's not a beer, it's not the hide. It's just a jar. He doesn't think the blood trail is over. And we're about 10 steps off of this blood. And now we're right back on the blood. Good boy. Come on, work. Come on, Sable, work. Uh, and the toilet paper roll. Come on, work. Good boy. Good boy. Sabo, enough. Sabo, enough. Come here, come here. Come here, Sabo. Come here. Good boy. Sabo, sit. Sit. Good boy, lay down. Come on, you wanna lay down, you wanna drink? Lay down, go ahead. Lay down, you can lay down. So. I'm not sure how far that blood trail was. I put it in the title or the description. I'll let you guys know. It only took us a few minutes. It was probably only a few hundred yards. Our last blood trail, our last practice blood trail was 950 yards. It only took us like 13, 15 minutes around there. So we do good. Hopefully he does good on Saturday, which will be May 16th. This is what we were looking for. Just the jar where I had the blood frozen, the three ounce bottle, and the toilet paper I was using to mark. Here's a closer look at his harness. This is Alpine Outfitters harness. It's all padded, really well made. It holds up really well. He can pull as much as he wants and it doesn't choke him. That's why I like it. We've had issues in the past with other harnesses that were choking him or just giving us issues. Go ahead, bro. But it does good. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to let me know. Alright, I'm going to get this guy some more water, a couple treats, and we're going to head out of here. Enjoy your day, guys.